action. Okay, so the question, the question was, who says action? So often what you have on set is an assistant director. And because a lot of sets are pretty chaotic, you'll have a assistant director on set to say, quiet on set, roll camera, roll sound, and yell out a numerous amounts of cues, and then ultimately either the director will say action, or depending upon how uh, the director wants to do it, the assistant director could say action. Clint Eastwood, you guys know who Clint Eastwood is? Yes. yes. All right, Clint Eastwood, uh, he doesn't say action. He just um, tells the actors, whenever you're ready, go. Um, part of the reason why he does that is because uh, he was in a bunch of Western films, and when the director yelled out action really loud, it scared the horses and caused the horses to go crazy. Um, but that's the technique he uses. Questions? How long have you watched the film? Oh man. Ah. Uh, man. Wow. Alright, you're dating me here. I, well, I remember when I was a kid, I would spend a lot of time in the video store, just walking through, and I would just be in there watching movies. Uh, that they had on on like the TV in the corner, and also going through the different titles and stuff like that. So uh, ever since I was a kid, pretty much. Uh, yeah. You said you went to Hampton University. Yes. Um, for images broadcast journalism. Mm -hmm. So what does broadcast journalism have to really do with film? Like, can you tell me the connection? Sure, that's a good question. Um, so I went to Hampton for uh, broadcast journalism, which focuses more on TV news. All the news you see on TV, for example, CNN, uh, focuses on news stories. Uh, whereas film deals with more narrative uh, stories, so made up stories. And uh, at the time, Hampton didn't have a film program, so the closest thing that they had where I could get technical experience working with cameras and the editing equipment, I uh, went into that major for that purpose. Yeah. Have you ever um, admitted your films into the film festivals like Sundance and Tribeca? Uh, I'm actually planning on uh, submitting this film to those places uh, once we get it finished. So, uh, in the fall uh, is when I believe Tribeca and Sundance are going to have their um, applications. So, are you planning to have this movie like, published in like, movie theaters and stuff? Like uh, usually short films don't uh, go to movie theaters unless they're in a festival. So I'm going to submit the film to a bunch of festivals. How many films have you worked on? Uh, I have worked on uh, a ton of films. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, man. Well, I worked on a bunch of movies that my classmates made in grad school, as well as a couple of different uh, I guess independent films, uh, feature length, uh, one of which, um, which I got a bunch of good friends on, it was called, uh, my first one was called, it was called You're Nobody Till Somebody Kills You, and it was, uh, that was the, it was based off of uh, Biggie Smalls song, so. I like the Oscars every year, uh, every year, and they have a segment for short films. So, do you do you think that do you have are you that determined to get your film into like probably like one day, like not now since you're like really young and everything, but mm -hmm. one day into like the Oscars? Like, and if you do, like, what would it mean to you? Uh, you know, 
I think, you know, it's great to be honored um, by the Oscars and by, uh, you know, to get that kind of award and that kind of recognition, that kind of honor. I think that ultimately the main thing that I'm going for is that my peers enjoy the work that I've made and also uh, that I'm proud of it. Uh, I think sometimes uh, people will create stuff and not be happy with the final product. But I think uh, what's more important to me is that I'm happy with it and that people that I respect in the field also enjoy it. And if you get any awards, that's gravy. Uh, so, uh, I know you said you worked on a lot of independent films and any film with friends, but how many films have you actually directed? Oh, okay. Uh, pretty much, I well, when I was in when I was in school, the way the program works is that you first do a short film that is silent. So there's no. Um, it's like the old time film. Right. You just have the right. There well, well, you can hear things, but there was no dialogue. So it was a black and white silent film. This my second year, I directed uh, a film. I was like around nine minutes. Got a bunch of actors. Uh, that was the idea that I came up with myself. And then in my third year, I directed a spec uh, commercial uh, for Match.com um, that I made up. What, like, which filmmakers or directors do you look up to? Like, you know, Martin Scorsese, Tim Burton, and what, what is your style? Oh, man. You know how Tim Burton, he has like this dark, you know, theme all the time in his movies. Sure, sure. Uh, you know, this man. Uh, yeah, Scorsese, um, of course, uh, you know, like you said, uh, Tim Burton had some influence, but not really. Um, I would say, right now, I would say I'm getting more influenced by television, actually, than movies. Uh, a lot of these days, uh, TV has taken a really prominent place as almost self-contained movies. Uh, for example, Breaking Bad is an amazing show. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Game of Thrones. It's an amazing show. HBO. Uh, a lot of HBO shows, they're, they're like hour-long movies. And I really respect a lot of the creators on those. Um, but influence... Like you said, Scorsese, Spike Lee, uh, Spielberg. Spielberg uh, no. Sure, um, a bunch of the directors who who uh, influenced me on on this movie, on my thesis, were the Coen Brothers. Um, this guy named Jason Reitman, uh, <clears throat> the director of Shaun of the Dead whose name escapes me right now, uh, were a big influence on this movie. Anybody else? Yeah. So would you say, like, you have, like, a sort of mentor in your life? Uh, I, I, I say right now I have a bunch of different mentors. I think, it, especially in this business, like, you have to get mentors. Uh, one of the big mentors, I work uh, for The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, and one of the correspondents on there, uh, his name is Wyatt Snack, he's since left the show, but he uh, was gracious enough to read my script and also look at versions of the movie, and so he was definitely a mentorship role in this process. What high school did you go to, and like, was the high school for like film? Oh, okay. No, it was my the high school I went to was not for film or um, TV. It uh, was a private school in New Jersey that they sent me to because uh, I, like I said, had a learning disability and I needed extra help to work through a bunch of the different uh, curriculum. 
that was thrown at that were thrown at me. So I went to a private school for that. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the last one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what struggles did you have to go to to become this director you are right now? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. You know you just you don't know. I feel like there's no way I could prepare you guys to be a director cause, because there are just so many things that are thrown at you that you just never knew went into making a film. It's it's difficult to make a bad film, uh, is what, what I often say. So when you see a good film, it's like you can re you appreciate it on another level. Some of the uh, challenges were, for example, locations. Are we going to be able to shoot in this bar? Sometimes you don't you don't even know. Uh, the the opening shot of the movie, uh, of my thesis, you see the guy run towards camera and you see those kids ride by on the bike. Well, those kids weren't planned to be in the movie. We were shooting in bed and we, I got a cop and the mayor's office to shut down the block. And uh, we were shooting and these kids ride by on these bikes. And I'd start chasing him down, I'm like, they gotta be in the movie! They gotta be in the movie! And my, my cinematographer, he starts chasing them down, and we grab them, and... Well, we don't grab them, grab them, but... <laughs> but we stop them from leaving, and... Uh, while, they're, while we're trying to prepare the shot, these kids got really rowdy, they started... Uh, cursing at some of the passerbys, some of the people passing by, they got in an argument with, um, with, the, with, with some of the neighbors in the neighborhood, and it was just, it was just, I don't know why, but it's just one of those challenges that you just never saw coming because you were trying to be spontaneous, and uh, eventually we got the shot, but one of the kids got a flat tire and took a bike from another kid and at the end of the at the end of the take all the kids kept riding the bike but they didn't they didn't come back and we're like we're like what about this little boy's bike and so we start trying to chase these kids who have the who have this this little boy's bike and they were gone and they knew they were in the wrong cuz they looked they looked back at us they're like Boom! And so they started uh, riding their bikes a lot faster, and so they knew they were wrong. So How old were they? I don't, I don't know, I don't know, around you guys' age. And so now I'm as the director, I'm, I'm, I'm left there with this little boy who doesn't have a bike. <laughs> what about the bike with the flat tire? Um, amazing shot. He has the bike with the flat tire, <laughs> and did you guys fix it? Like, yeah, so what I had to do was, I told him to go get his mom, and his brother came back. I paid his brother for the bike, and he also got to keep the bike with the flat tire. But that was a stressful moment, as you can imagine, when these kids take off with this other kid's bike. But, you know, it all worked out because the shot was, the shot was great. <laughs> no. We got. We have to work on your presentations, guys. Yeah, like, yeah, we don't have I can answer. I can answer your question another time. Yeah. It's just. It's yeah. Just oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He may or may not be back. So right, let's guys. please give a round of applause, Mr. Day. Thank you. I know it's hot. Guys, those are some really good questions.